rush hour, about 9 a.m. Train after train making its last stop here in La Plaine, Stade de France, Saint-Denis, outside Paris. This was not here 10 years ago. All of these buildings are new. Most of the corporations who used to have um, headquarters in Paris now have them here in Saint-Denis, which is not much appreciated by the workers. You know, they bought their place in Paris and they figured they would work there for life. But this was not the case. La Défense uh, had a lot of headquarters in it, but a lot of the companies uh, from La Défense uh, relocated to Saint-Denis. They ran out of room there. And they had a lot of incentives to come here. There's the stadium. Very expensive stadium. Big, big, big hassle for the inhabitants of the city. Every time there's an event, the highways close down, and there's no, um, there are no cars allowed in this whole section. No parking, no cars, which is really hard uh, if you're handicapped and you need to get picked up. You are out of luck. You can't get a bus out of here. They don't stop. You know, you have to plan for it. It's, it, 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 it's a hassle. You have to. Uh, hope that the internet is up to date, you have to remember to look. Sometimes there are some signs posted and it's noted for the season of when things are going to be closed down here. All of these buildings over here, these are apartments, these are all new. I've watched them all be built. This uh, open air platform is typical of the RER system, which I detest. And it's bloody cold here in the winter. There's absolutely no shelter. I think the elevators are working now, but that's extremely rare. I think I saw them working the other day. Uh, but normally they don't work, so if, if you're disabled, you have to uh, climb the stairs or walk up a ramp. It's really exhausting. It's not... Um, well, Saint-Denis is the most uh, disabled, accessible city I've seen in France. And they were starting to be like that when I moved here in '94. All of La Plaine has completely changed in the last 10 or 15 years. This was a very old uh, area, basically a slum area. This is the world's first industrial zone. It is heavily polluted. The grass would not even grow in the stadium when they uh, built the stadium. The soil was so contaminated by the old gas works here. And you can still smell the horrible odor when you're in the uh, metro train underneath. But they had to... Uh, take out all of the dirt from the stadium in trucks and take it someplace else and clean it and move it all back. So the stadium opened uh, very much over budget and um, uh, quite late. It's May 5th, 1970. Yesterday was May 4th. Remember May 4th, Kent State University. Never forget.